could just have been my headphones too. All right, uh, change some <laughs> of the audio audio around. It might have been my headphones because I'm not hearing the the speakerphone pop. We'll I'll keep an eye uh, ear out for it, but uh, it was definitely something that was driving me nuts. My my Boses are probably a few years old. It could it could just be a hardware issue on that on their end. Um, unfortunate though, because those are awesome. Awesome headphones. Okay, uh, what we were talking about. We we're talking about what was going on in the first week. So, uh, first week of winter. Um, Thelgrim is crafting. So are his simulacra. Sunny, there's something about a tree branch being ready? Uh, this is, so, before when Su Sunny was trying to prepare his druid staff, so he has his treant, right? You, you can, druids can polish a tree branch to the point where it can become a treant. And his one that was almost ready to go got destroyed in a spell last yeah. time. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Because uh, right. yeah, no, no, no. you have to do it for a month, right? Yeah, yeah you have to work on it for yeah, a month. You, you, you carve it, you polish it, and then you, you bless it every day for a month. Okay. Exactly, exactly. And so this, is, this is for the Live Oak spell? Is that this the, is for the Live Oak spell, yes. Okay. Uh, Sunny, you... Uh, you took a break from the Farseer of Rest to go and polish the stick. In fact, re reincarnated Mistra, or is it just Mistra at this point? Mistra? This is just Mistra. Okay. <laughs> this is just Mistra. Yeah. Uh, Mistra she's at this been point. Mistra longer than she was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's, <laughs> she's been a bird longer than she was. the cow. cow. Yeah. <laughs> um, game time, anyways. She actually comes over with the staff, like you're not doing. <laughs> like, you're doing the wrong thing, to, Drew. You're not supposed yeah. to be doing what you're. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Sonny, give me a perception check. You have been spending some time at the Far Sea of Rest, uh, observing the volcanic eruptions. It, it's not exploding anymore, but the volcano is still erupting. Like, there's still lava flows and uh, steam vents and... 31? 31. Um, you find an interesting set of tracks in some of the desolated um uh in some of the desolation okay um give me a survival roll who man tracks <laughs> <laughs> who, who manoid uh it's uh not plus 152 uh 17. um uh, sorry 20. 20. Like a big crustacean or a crab? Crabs are fascinating creatures. Everything eventually becomes a crab. The, the thing... <laughs> I, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it was wandering around in, in some of this, like, overheated shale bed... <laughs> That used to be a river valley. Uh, like some of the pyroclastic flows had gone through here. They were cooling down. Like it must be some sort of special crab to lava crab. Sure, a la lava crab. You, you don't crab. you don't see any signs of it. It does look like it scuttled across the landscape, and you just you see a cut like a track, and there's no sign of it. But harbingers of doom, magma crabs. <laughs> That would there. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Mister puts down the stick as she goes. She goes off to the side and uh, and sees Barnabas getting hoofed in the uh, uh, <laughs> basically backhanded in 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 the uh, uh, in the sternum uh, as he was trying to run off with a leg. He's a bit he's a bit sauced at this point. A shame. Ah. ah. Cog balancing ah. on one arm, grabs his own leg and and, and puts it you back. In. Let's go! Let's go! I need to finish the work. I don't have time for your dilly dallying. Oh, Let go of it, you drunk bastard! Besides, you're doing this wrong and this wrong. He's, he's, he's actually stunning, got a stunning fist to his leg. Put it to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Horse. Bar Barnabas actually has a plus thirty-eight in clockwork. Oh. <laughs> Could you help? <laughs> Is Widget here? This is a week where Widget is 
is one of the last people selling. I think it's because Widget and Agony were doing this, other stuff. This, other this weeks, would be at night. Barnabas is selling too. I think. Oh no, there, there was a there was, there weren't there maybe there weren't enough weeks for all yeah. of you to be selling or and some of you were picking up the slack. So like Agony yeah. was trying to get some uh, trying to get um, the last few gold coins out of some of the treasure hoard, and you were there were a few special items that uh, that haven't been. Um, it, it, yeah. We just, yeah. Yeah, Widget's yeah. got like five weeks of selling still. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, Widget, you're kind of in and out of the, the tavern. Uh, Widget, you're walking down the road, and there's a really weird gathering of folk. Um, I've, got, I've got a square here. Let me zoom out. I've got a square for just people that are in Overlook, people are at Thogram's Forge, and people that are at the Fortress of Karak. Yep. Uh, Agony might be in Overlook. He might be in Karak. Uh, he does have greater teleport as a 14th level uh, a sorcerer, so he nice. has been he has been the one ferrying a lot of the treasure back and forth. So we'll say he's at Karak at this point in time. But Widget, there there is a number of um, strange looking folk, and a whole lot of them that are standing awkwardly outside of the tavern, like they're waiting for something. In fact, there might be several groups or two groups that are now talking to each other, like they may not all get along. And did I, did I put them on this map? No. I have their tokens in the token library. We have A very large half elf. He ate two other half elves on the way here. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, we have a elf dressed in mini greens. We have a bogard wearing a alligator skin hat. That's cool. That's just awesome. Look at that guy. Um, we have. Let me just make sure I've got them all. And uh, I swore they were on a different, maybe they were in this map. There was a little druid by the name of Leaf, I think. Uh, that sounds familiar, yeah. Uh, Gayflame? Uh, from, um, from Brindle. That yeah. One? I did have them. They were all on a different. Uh, they were all on the conversation. I'm just going to drag them to Halifax. Little green okay. belly. Uh, there is a lady with a patch. She is uh, half elven or maybe elven. She is riding a very calm looking elk that has a bunch of streamers and bells uh, tied to it. There is a fluttering pixie of sorts that looks like it's more plant than pixie. And the group of them are kind of awkwardly standing outside, muttering. It's like they were almost trying to decide who's going to go in first or if this is the right place. Uh, they might be out of towners. <laughs> when uh, from across the street, um, 
stepping out of a noble carriage. is an intimidating looking man. He, 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 he grins this really sinister grin as he looks at the place and then looks over at the druid. Also stepping out of the uh, ornate noble carriage is something that might frighten you, uh, Widget. I've, he's seen some shit. <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> uh, give me a knowledge arcana. Uh -oh. no, don't ask for that, dude. <laughs> he's got play shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can quit this game anytime. <laughs> oh, these guys are done. <laughs> uh, and, and the spell subjective reality. I know it doesn't exist anymore because I said so. Uh, all right. Uh, knowledge arcane. Uh... Okay. 23? Uh, you recognize these these people, um, are people of this order of warriors and magi are renowned throughout the Imperium. Mm. Uh, this is an Imperial Guard officer. Mm. These, these are the elite, the ultra elite force that guard Imperials true Imperials, uh, the royal family, and the undying emperor himself. You didn't even know any of them were here in these parts. Oh, it, it's an Inquisitor. Don't be alarmed. I'm not here in any, well, aggressive capacity. If you druids wouldn't mind lining up against the wall, however. Nothing sinister about that statement. <laughs> they, they kind of blanch at that. It's, we're not here for any hostilities. We, we have business with, yes. With the Steel Rose Expeditionary League. Don't worry. We're all sort of druids in a way. While you make sure that trees grow straight, I make sure that the right people march straight and that we prove the gardens of any weeds. That sort of makes me an honorary druid now, doesn't it? Thinks that means they're going to teach him the language. Across the street, there are at least half a dozen men with very long barreled rifles and mm -hmm. strange goggles that have now like made their presence known. And uh, there's at least six of them training their guns down at the group of druids. Widget, what are you doing? Uh, he's going to light up a cigar. He's going to make certain his weapon is really stoned. <laughs> 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 you know, look non-threatening. Yeah, you're just around the yep. corner. The entrance yep. is there. You could duck. You could try to duck yep. in. This Imperial Guard officer has glanced at the... Um, uh, that has, has glanced at the... Um, at the druids, he is aware of them, but he seems to be looking around a little bit more. You, you doubt that this, the way this guy's behaving, you doubt that he doesn't assess the situation for anything. Like, he assesses the situation everywhere he goes. Yep. Um, he's odd looking for an Imperial Guard. He does have a weird weapon on his back that is not human. It is an elvish style, um, uh, two-handed curved blade. He currently has no weapon out, but he, he is looking at he is looking at the inn, and if you're trying to hide, I would need a uh, stealth check. He's lighting a cigar, so it's okay. not really hiding. <laughs> uh, he, we could do a stealth check to see if he came out of the shadows or if he was just tootling his ass down the street thinking yeah. it was sneaky. Yep. Uh, natural one thirty-five. Okay. 
Still pretty damn good. <laughs> I promise I wasn't trying, you know. It just you know. <laughs> Okay, he saw you right away, and he did move to position himself near the door. And he so uh, I know they have an appointment, uh, but you want to talk to the. St- Steel Rose, you're going to probably want Bonibus, I'm assuming? Uh, looking looking over his shoulder, the the Inquisitor puts up a finger. Do you have knowledge of religion or any sort of uh, knowledge nobility? Uh, I've got religion. Okay. <laughs> uh, 34. Which has got a plus 23 knowledge religion? <laughs> He's got a circlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> so it turns out you didn't need to study gods and religion <laughs> as your family did. You just magic. needed some magic. <laughs> magic. I had um, one rank in it <laughs> before. You, uh, 34, you know who this man is. Uh, his name is Blackburn. He's an Inquisitor General. There's like maybe three Inquisitor Generals on all of Volcanica, and he is one of them. Apparently he's very hands-on. But the druids are lining up, if you will. <laughs> uh, some of them have tried to show him credentials. He's like, just over there. He's not interested in seeing their credentials. Adrana seems very, very angered at this. Uh, the elf just just uh, seems to know what the guy is up to. The others might just be oblivious to this and they're just following suit. Um, you too, is, is, is what the Inquisitor General says to the, the elk. The Inquisitor General takes something out of his pocket and he looks through it. It looks like it's like a lens or a gemstone mm. and he's scanning the row of them. Uh, uh, knowledge, arcana, spellcraft? Yeah, you can do a, if you want to know what spell the thing is acting like, it's spellcraft. If you want to know what the device is, it's a knowledge arcana. Spellcraft. Uh, oh my god. So, Witcher, this is not the time. Uh, 25. <laughs> Uh, the most, well, 15 plus double spell level is 25, so um, cool. you're pretty sure that he, is, the gem is allowing him to do trucing for a yeah. short period of time. Yeah. Now, that wasn't as hard, that wasn't very hard now, was it? Can't be too careful with all of the sudden flights of people from Fortress Top. A lot of them have ended up here, or so I'm told. This is going to be Desaad's new best friend. <laughs> I'll just mimic him. <laughs> oh, I see. You, uh, this Imperial Guard officer just simply, when you started talking, you just put up his hand and he glanced back towards the the uh, the Inquisitor General. He's clearly helping the Inquisitor General. Well, that excitement is over. Now that we have that excitement over with, it's. It, so, you know, well, <laughs> well, well, the guard is not overly paying attention. So that looks a little difficult to breathe in. Does it get, like, good airflow? You know? <laughs> does it fog up? <laughs> Do the helmet, the helmet is just looking down at you. It has no expression. <laughs> he heard your question, but he's not answering it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he then does hold the door open. You think he's holding the door open for the Inquisitor General, but you could you could run into the inn while he's holding the door open if you wanted. I, well, I thank you kindly. Dude. We're just gonna, uh, and we're going to see that uh, Bar- the the men with the guns af- after there must have been some communication happening between the Inquisitor General and the others because once he put the gem away and started talking, 
you're pretty sure there was some communication or signal. You just didn't catch what it was. The men with the guns all uh, stopped training their weapons on the druid. Okay, as we get in the room, we're going to... Okay, Bush. Barnabas is lying on the ground. It looks like he was just punched. Uh, Mistress, ah! trying to, ah! Mistress trying to steal <laughs> Barnabas's hat because uh, apparently taking other people's things is the is the name of this game. This is, this is and and, and Cog, Cog is, is worming along on the ground with with his own leg in one hand and and is uh, is like I don't know doing what was he's hopping. Other. He's hopping. Yeah, he's hopping with the other. <laughs> Sonny complaining about the noise. <laughs> he's I'm to... trying to watch the, I'm I'm trying trying to to watch watch the volcano. The oh, <laughs> bird stole my hat! The magma crabs of doom are here. Magma crabs of Quit doom. Quit yelling, senile bastard. <laughs> Uh, Step, stepping into the room is the uh, is the Imperial Guard officer who holds the door for the Inquisitor General, who, uh, who takes a moment to, to wipe his feet. Don't bother. <laughs> and then there's a group of druids that are all like now wanting to. Sonny, are you in there? Uh, yes, I'm up on the left. <laughs> I sure hope he is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a fruitful trip. Uh, they pause all, like, running into the inn with the Imperial uh, uh, Guard officer and the Inquisitor General uh, pausing at the doorway. Uh, the Inquisitor General is actually taking off a cloak and putting it up on a, on a hook, and, and uh, he wipes his feet and has a look around at the inn. We he he, he, does, he does. For this he, does look over, he does look over at Mister Cog and Barnabas, and um, he looks mildly amused. Or all right, let go of me, you metal twat. I gotta go. <laughs> Got company. <laughs> <laughs> Mister ends up going chasing Polly, who hasn't been playing with Mister as much lately. Um, uh, but Mister ends up making a game out of it as. Where Polly is, Did you lose Polly. Uh, I don't know where Polly went. Pa Polly's probably after the incident with the the lo the Lord is probably there. He is Cinder. Cog took him. <laughs> yeah, Polly. Polly. He, get, he gets sleeved when there's company. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Mister is looking around for Polly as Barnabas took a fast one uh, uh, and grabbed Polly. Uh, or trying to get Polly to come out, and she's not doing it. Uh, Barnabas, you've got knowledge, religion, right? What's your, what's your bonus? It's like in the thirties. Uh, no, his bonus for knowledge, religion, is in uh, is almost fifty. Oh, um, this is forty-eight. Inqui this is Inquisitor General Theodosius Blackburn. He's one of three or four Inquisitor Generals on Volcanica. Um, He is also a baron. And Does he prefer to be called Inquisitor General or Baron? <laughs> that you you've never met the man and you never really wanted to. All right, I guess we'll put on our charming face then today. Uh, Inquisitor Generals, uh, he's one that gets down into the thick of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, Barnabas. He likes to do go. things himself. Even more concerning is um, a person that shouldn't be here, at least shouldn't be acting as a guard for someone like an Inquisitor General. It's a, an Imperial Guard officer. Um, what's your knowledge, Arcana? Plus 56. This Imperial Guard officer, while it's very subtle, you know how to read the little pips and, and uh, dots and dashes on their collar. This one is a Centurion Major of the Five Claw Regiment, meaning that he serves um, specifically the Prince of Volcanica, the Traxian III. Well, uh, he seems to be backing up the Inquisitor as they're walking into your tavern. Oh, Barnabas kind of wipes himself off. Forgive me, Inquisitor General Blackburn. I didn't know we'd have company. Nor your friend. Very kind of the 
prince to loan you one of his uh, guards? <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. Well, if there's anything we can help you with. Is there one by the name of Sonny who claims to be speaking on behalf of Volcanica? Ah, uh, yes. I do believe that he has some druid company outside. I would have to ask you to wait to entertain those folks. Don't be frightened. While some of them have clearly come from Fortress Top, they have been screened at least twice, once by me, only a few seconds ago. Yeah, well, it's... There are no doppelgangers amongst their, amongst their group. An, yeah. awful, an awful problem. So, some of us have been through that, yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Um, Sunny, yeah. you, have, you have a guest. I must thank you, Barnabas, for you and your friends who provided that report. You're very welcome. Doing our duty as imperial citizens. He gives a slight bow. <laughs> yes. Uh, is that truthful? or? <laughs> ah, it's, it's truthful enough. Like he, When he made the report, it was like, there are fucking doppelgangers they need to be taken care of. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'll receive him up here. <laughs> Sorry, put the fucking... Just come down, please. <laughs> I hope I wasn't interrupting anything. He says as he's looking at Cog. The Imperial Guard officer has actually walked into the bar and is now walking around, just having a look. Okay, uh, Widget is mixing up some Look at all your legs. He, can, <laughs> he thinks that the Imperial Guard guy looks like a Shirley Temple man. That's what he's making. <laughs> can we offer you a drink? <laughs> Miss was like the red guy, but she doesn't know what's going on. That guy's weird. <laughs> She's like, being uh, do you do you prefer Inquisitor General or Baron? Black. Ah, Baron. I see my reputation has preceded me. Well, then what a reputation it is. He pulls up a chair and he he is flaunting the fact that he's sitting with his back to the uh, uh, back to the front of the room. Okay. Like he doesn't have a care in the world in this place. Okay. Sunny's wandering through the room. Yep. Sunny, no, no, Sunny, Sunny, come back, <laughs> come back. No, they're druids. They're used to outside. They'll be fine. Just come here for a moment. <laughs> this. Is Inquisitor General Blackbird? <laughs> you would like a word. Hmm. If it burns, you should do something about that. How oh, very pleasant. And you're a human. What are you going to do? <laughs> the, I'll, uh... Uh, there. So you are important in the Imperium, I assume. Um, he raises an eyebrow and glances at Barnabas. <laughs> <laughs> He's a druid. What are you going to do? <laughs> there is a god being birthed in the heart of the volcano currently. Um, and why don't you have the a little human here, here beside me? <laughs> he, he pulls up the chair with his leg and he taps the seat, kind of putting it so that you'd be facing him, not the bar, and he, he, he pushes his own seat so it's facing directly to you. Let's have a little chat. The, the druids... I Your druid them. friends can wait. I, I, I suppose we could tell the story twice. Uh, all the can I uh, offer you any, any food, perhaps? Well, your long journey, unless you teleported, which is entirely possible. No, I've already had my fill. I was at Fortress Top this morning. Ah, lots of salad. And the the Major doesn't eat. Oh, sad for you. We've got a few, I know a few people who don't eat. I, I just, just generally sad for them. <laughs> I don't think his wife cooks. There's a the Inquisitor General, like, I don't know, you've got a really good sense motive. You yeah. I think that he's been trying to get a rise out of the, the major, 
and has failed. Like this you, is just you, an ongoing sort of like little jabs <laughs> at the major, but uh, there might be some jockeying going on. The, the the major seems to be staring daggers at at Sunny after he mentioned something about a god at Volcanica, and is now actually wandered up to the bar and is just leaning on it, walk, listening to the conversation. Now that he's had okay. a look around. Okay, Widget will take the surly temple. That he put on this side of the bar for him as he was walking by, and we'll move it to that side of the bar. (laughs) It's a nice fruity drink while we're all on duty. It it, it sits in front of the Imperial Guard officer. He is not. He has yet to remove any of his any of his armor, uh, and he still has his helmet. Have we got a telepathic bond going? I know we got a. Uh, Well, Sunny has the rounds per day can can create one. Um. He also can use that to like cast spells on people. Why don't you sit a little closer here? He reaches down and like <laughs> <laughs> he, he pulls you in real close. Uh, Sonny, you could you could probably with some you could smell basically what he ate for breakfast and the fact that he that he chews some sort of like minty tobacco. Mistra is hiding around the corner, peeking. Okay. <laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah. Cog, are, are you just? Sitting legless in the doorway, or are you? Um... Um, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna hobble my legs over to here, and uh, and and work on them. Work on one of the legs. Okay. So Val shifts his posi- or the sorry the major shifts his position over so that he can clearly see what Cog is doing, um, leaving the drink where it was, like, let's take it with him. <laughs> Widget, after doing whatever the next thing is, we'll just push it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he looks down at the drink and then just looks back towards the conversation between Sunny and, and the Inquisitor General. Well, within 20 seconds of me coming here, interesting information tumbling out of this old man's head. Well, I have a feeling that we're going to have a very fruitful conversation, aren't we? Half of it is a lunacy, but uh, take from it what you will. Uh, I, if you don't want the many thousands of invaders on this world to die because of their hubris... In, uh, and Invaders? Wait. There are invaders? Uh, uh, The food that the Imperium brought isn't proper for Volcanica. So the normal cycle, which is, is it, true it is coming early this time, but in the normal cycle of things, the, the plants and the, the eco, you know, the system can survive long, long winters, like multi-year winters. Um, but but the food that we have here, he's pointing at the alcohol and the bread, and this is all not from here. These these plants will die, and then the people who eat them will die if they don't be the good little squirrel and stow and scrimp and save and go without. He, he, he understands what you're saying. He looks a little bit bored about this line of conversation. Ah, he says, yes, I <laughs> told you. <laughs> I'm certain that you druids will keep us well fed during the darkness to come. What about I, this god thing? Could you elaborate the, what you uh, have discovered? The Kirtlemacks. Kirtlemack went to take back the egg that was stolen by the um, uh, the gnome <laughs> god. Uh, Colonel Mack was trapped for a long time. He sacrificed himself within a, a volcano where Tiamat's egg is now being born into something horrible and anew. Uh, also, harbingers of doom, magma crabs are out there. And how do you know all of these things? She told me. Who told you? Volcanica told me. And when you mention Volcanica, as you can see, the Imperial Prince is very concerned, as the Imperial Prince is Volcanica, when he has people claiming that they, too, are also Volcanica. I 
am not Volcanica. I am the druid well, of Volcanica. Ah, I see. So when you said Volcanica, don't you? Mm. Are you misconstruing this with some other entity? The, it's kind of difficult. The weave speaks in many ways. One could argue that everything comes from the weave itself. Um, and we did get some information from a, a mad Darrow. <laughs> oh, oh. Darrow told you this, he says. <laughs> He, he, he sighs a little bit. If you do not mind, I'm going to cast a spell. It is quite quite passive and non-evasive on your mad friend here. He, he's actually looking around to see if there's any objections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Right. Barnabas is going to check and see what it is. Yeah, we just, he's, we just he's, got, he's got a dispel ready. <laughs> Widget also has the uh, just dispel yeah. stuff if I want. So <laughs> where, where is we? Oh, Widget's just sitting at the bar. Widget's oh, behind Widget's the bar. The, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, what, uh, what is uh, before he casts a spell? Uh, what uh, what do you drink? But he, he he's like just waves your hand off with this. Uh, he's got these very nice gloves on. He's okay. He's not here for that. Mint julep. <laughs> 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 he, he, he like smirks at you like he's he's much more reactive to everything that's going on than like <laughs> stone, I'm being part of the scenery. <laughs> stone faced Imperial Guard who yep. still hasn't explained what, well that might explain it if maybe he's here to figure out who the hell Sonny is. Now to to, to give some context or to repeat the context, Sonny has been spending the last 45 days doomsaying <laughs> about how Volcanica has turned against everyone and how they're all going to die and the druid of Volcanica is speaking. So, Which so, is part of the reason Barnabas isn't arguing so much. There's a part of him going, he, he's brought this on himself. <laughs> Are you saying that in their kingdom making game, in their kingdom builder, I was creating a lot of disruption in the harmony of the kingdom. <laughs> Barnabas, Instantly. this Inquisitor General must have been the the Inquisitor, he must be leading the Inquisitors rooting out the doppelgangers in Fortress Top, if that's not obvious by now. Oh, you're muted, Mark. I think I did something to Sunny by accident. He suddenly bat form. Was that me? Uh, I think you blasted me into infinity. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't no, he was that. underneath the, the Inquisitor. Mark, oh. uh, you're piecing together that the Inquisitors that are at Fortress Top right now, which is just 100 miles or a couple hundred miles in that direction, Yeah, the, he's leading that Inquisition. Yeah, I, I got And if that. there's a pile of Druids from Fortress Top that are here, as this this might be just like, oh, and could you, while you're out there, go check out what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, but to have the Imperial Prince's attention is not a good thing. No. Well, that depends. That depends. So, a mad Darrow told you. Well, uh, well uh, a bad channeling through a, a priest of the Morden Salmon. Ah, Morden Salmon. Oh, Barn Morden. Barnabas, is, Barnabas has just got, like, hand to forehead, like, off. Oh, Fuck, he's just giving it all away. <laughs> <laughs> he's sunny. When has he not done this? <laughs> Say? Uh, yes. Are uh, you a priest of the Mondans? No, no, no. I am uh, I am a druid of Volcanica and okay, worshipper of the Weave. He, he's, he looks flustered as his DC 21 spellcraft spell is going on. Tell me what it is if you want. <laughs> Arcane Sight. He, he seems to be very flustered when he's looking at Sunny. So, if this man, who is your cleric of the Monden, Sam? 
I'm sure there's more than a few of them here in the city, but if you could point me in the right direction, that would be much appreciated. Um, to be honest, is he in town? Uh, not current. Uh, he's in... Brennos went somewhere with a bag of money because he wanted... You know he's, that he's, he was going to go perform a ceremony go, with the sword. He's going to go pray. Uh, yeah. Uh, he is, a... I know not where. <laughs> oh, uh, he, Brenos. He's a, a very powerful short dwarf. Although uh, most dwarves are short. Um, very angry. <laughs> An angry sort. Brenos. Is he a member of this expeditionary league? He is, yes. Ah, I thought I recognized the name. Oh, I did have a talk with the Administrator Izel Brist. I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. She is a strange bird, after all. If you say so, I've met her once. She's not a bird at all. Oh, fuck's sake, Sonny. <laughs> well... Do you care to explain how everyone is proclaiming the Druid of Volcanica is uh, foretelling their doom? Well, it is a simple... Um, I mean, anybody who knows about volcanoes and their potential for worldwide destruction, in this case, a uh, volcanic winter, um, well, he has been uh, perhaps overly vocal in his um, predictions. Uh, I believe they are accurate. There will be starvation. There will be death. Have you been to the volcano? Hmm. Of course not. My my duty has kept me a little closer to home. But that is where the god is being born. The spawn of Tiamat from the soul of a, a, a kobold god being rebirthed heart of Volcanica. This, it will not be good. A I mean, the starvation is obviously a near-term thing, but this god problem, that somebody needs to, you know, Imperials should go Imperial that. Hmm. <laughs> Very amusing. I've never heard it quite used as a verb before. Yes. The druids will. I have been doing my best to keep all of the new peoples of Volcanica fed. I have, I have cast thousands of spells over the last few weeks. Thousands. Yes. Very I, little sleep. <laughs> I do believe we owe the people of the Elsia Vale owe you a debt of gratitude, as you've been. I've heard that the August crop has been quite bountiful. In the telepathic bond with uh, Barnabas, does he mean me ill? <laughs> you should resort to yes and no answers only at this point. <laughs> well, if you don't know where this Brennan is. I could either spend resources in finding him, or we could wait for him to return. Well, you seem nothing if not resourceful. Do we I... mean, is Sonny not in the telepathic bond? Do we really <laughs> want him around here? <laughs> <laughs> I expected cooperation from this group given your relationship with Yazil Brist? We don't well, know where he is. I see. It's a large dwarven city. He worships all the dwarven gods. You could check all the dwarven temples. That sounds exhausting. Like... Yeah, it fucking does. And we don't know when he's coming back. <laughs> He'll be back when he's back. Yeah, I shall have to pay you a visit at a future date. We will um, leave him a message for you. Did I say something wrong? 
Major, do you have anything else to add? Shakes his head no. Although there was a pause while he was looking at Sonny before he shaked his head no. Well, in that case, we will let these fine entrepreneurial citizens. Next time, do you want a raspberry daiquiri? Yeah, oh, wait, we got visitors. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he walked into. <laughs> a, bl a Bloody Mary. Eh? <laughs> Fucking Muppet you over here. <laughs> right. The Imperial Guard walks out. He did take a good look at all of you. The Inquisitor General. Uh, I thank you for your time. Question, if I would. Oh, inquisiting the inquisitor, I see. Oh, I, just uh, hobbies. What's your favorite animal? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> puppy dog. No, look at him. He's clearly not a puppy dog now, is he? I was Cat always, person. I was always fascinated by snakes. Snakes are interesting. Particularly nasty if you don't know what you're dealing with. Also, there are some that are venomous and look exactly like other non-venomous snakes. And you got the snakes that just rattle away and that you know. <laughs> yes, fascinating. Good day to you, Sunny. Have a nice day. Um, Bye, should... Miss Darby, he says. Widget. Hmm? Cog Blue Leaf, he says as he's walking by. <laughs> you send in Tips the druids on your way out, please. It's a samurai <laughs> hat, yeah. You get a, a perceptible nod from the Imperial Guard officer as they leave. And you're... you're... All right, Sonny, let's have a talk now, shall we? <laughs> Do you mind <laughs> informing me beforehand so you can put my legs on at least? <laughs> now, <laughs> when you are, Sonny... Yeah. Right, right, we're just going to give Todd the uh, <laughs> prone position. <laughs> When speaking with inquisitors, or really people in authority, when you are not sure what they want, you answer with yes or no question, answers whenever possible, and nothing more. But they're supposed to be in charge, I thought. Mm, yes, yes they are. But until you know what they want, assume they mean you harm, mm. and that whatever you say will be used against you. <laughs> They shouldn't do that. No, they shouldn't, but they will, my friend. They will. Uh, hello! Sunny! Oh, uh, hello! A, a, a bunch of noisy druids are coming into your bar. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your feet! Wipe your feet! No. Can I, 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 I'll let you deal with this, Sunny. I'm going to go back to my office. <laughs> Winston goes over and says hello to Mr. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, hello! Hello! Um, hello! Uh, Widget's going to, like, I don't know, a bunch of minty, like, wheat ales, minty drinks, and, uh, like, Jaeger-based mixes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Adrana Young, remember, is the druid from uh, Witchcross, I believe was the name of the town, where Sunny uh, has studied the ways of Eth, mm -hmm. uh, the path of Eth. Am I saying that right? Eth, yep. Yep. Um... She is accompanied by some druids that you do not know. Uh, you know Leaf, of course, which I think you introduced to the druids of Eth, or he introduced you to them. Secrets, yeah. Secrets of Eth. Secrets of Eth, okay. Um, I... Hello. Hello. Um, We've seen you. Hey, there you are. We finally tracked you down. <laughs> these these are friends. Well, I can't help notice Miss Quileen Alderleaf is not here. Shitty druid, perhaps. Traitor to Volcanica. <laughs> uh, she's in Delve, says Adrana. Mm. 
not helping out, though, is she? Yes, the druid that was an adult, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dw- uh, dw- uh, yeah. I, mean, I was in Delph. Okay, she. Um, who are you? Again? This is a drama? Uh, this is oh, Anonymous, and no. he is drunk. <laughs> ah, very drunk. <laughs> that is perpetually true, so. <laughs> Cog, it is a pleasure seeing you again, she says in Elven to you. Uh, indeed it is. Because I think. Um, You've gone to the village a couple times to go, like, fetch Sunny and that sort of thing, and you've got uh, relatives also, in that village. His brother's there. Yeah. Back. Yes, it is good to see you. How is my brother doing? Uh, the old man who... Uh, he's... My younger brother who did not get yes. turned into a... Cu- who actually lived as an elf. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, he's well for his age. Nods. Good. And I think you also dropped off one of your nephews. nephews. Your mad nephew at that point. He was her her brother. Wasn't it? Wasn't her brother? Yes, I think it was, yeah. It was her brother who was uh, nuts and we... He was uh, working for the the bay guys. Yeah. Yeah, we captured him, brought him back alive. Sonny, we've we've had a hard time tracking you down. Um... I didn't know you were in the Halfax Inn. Uh. And you haven't been responding to our divinations. I never do. <laughs> Did I respond to them before? No, she says. Well, is it magic interesting? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there are a number of druids that... Um, uh, uh, I, everyone is aware that... The end of days is upon many of Volcanica, right? Oh, oh we, we, we've heard your, your, <laughs> your prognostications and doomsayings. This really large uh, uh, weeble-shaped um, uh, uh, half-elf or elf, he's wearing the symbol of a Sylvanus. I'm Green Lord uh, uh, Beatum of, of Sylvanus. Hopper. Yeah. We, we have uh, had a very bountiful uh, uh, autumnal uh, harvest, and mm. many of our stores are full, uh, at least uh, in in most parts of the Elsia Vale. I can't speak for Fortress Top, however, as they've been undergoing their own uh, problematic time with the Inquisition that is there. <laughs> yes, Fortress Top is not ready for the winter. Although I think by winter, Fortress Top will be empty. Um, oh, yes, and the happy happy lad over there is Seedman, the, the old Luan, the converted. Does he need a sandwich or something? Um, he is an elf. He looks very, uh, I don't know, out there, maybe? He does go to the drink that you've, mm. uh, that you've prepared, are there any fruits or seeds or nuts that were made in the preparing of the drink? Uh, the, well, there's like uh, there was like a raspberry daiquiri out there. There was a mint okay. Julep, so he, he, was... he he goes and finds the strawberry daiquiri. He has waved his hand over it, and there's something about his magic or what he can do. He pulls all of the seeds out of the component thing mm-hmm. and has separated them from the drink. And there's this little pile of strawberry. Yes, not an heirloom variety, but a more local variety. He seems to be like the rain man of seeds. Cool. Right. Uh, he is wearing a holy symbol of Sylvanus, though, yep. uh, marking them as uh, druids who have converted. Yes. Oh, uh, and over there we have Puddle. Um, Puddle has been a friend of ours. Uh, uh, he wanders into the marshes and lakes, and he, he speaks for the waters of Elsia Vale. Uh, uh, Puddle, uh, Druidic. Uh, Puddle's command of Imperial Common isn't that great. Does he speak? Uh, uh, so he will try Aquin with him if he speaks for the. Oh, you, you, you speak the great tongue of the uh, of the great splashing, the splashing beings. <laughs> 
druid needs to speak the tongues of all the elements. <laughs> all right, uh, Puddle sits down and he, he is trying your different liquids. He like sips okay. each one. All right, whatever, whatever the equivalent of a fireball fifty one is like the last one. In the line. <laughs> uh, Grand Lord uh, uh, Be- Beatrum uh, selects two chairs to sit down on, okay. so that he, he is comfortable. I guess. Or maybe he'll get the, he'll get the big glass. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't break any of the chairs. He, he kind of waddles into place there. Uh, yes. Uh, don't worry. Many of the silver knights have, have come here and have taken your uh, proclamations as an example. It does frighten us, however. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. Uh, 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 beat him. Oh, yes. Oh, he starts drinking his drink. Well, for the Are you well, Sonny? Says says uh, Adrana. We I, haven't seen you. We haven't seen you in Witchcross for some time. Oh, wow. he's probably got like bloodshot eyes from like, yep. all day casting spells and then all night watching the idiot tube. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I, yeah. I am doing what I can for Volcanica. Uh, yes, there's so many died. They're still dying. It's just much slower now. We appreciate your warning. Um, we're concerned, however, with such a mag with a, with such a magnificent and horrible event. We'd expect more priests and overlook to have well received warning from their gods. Apparently, they haven't. Well, maybe they just all heard Sunny and figured, well, they must know by now. <laughs> we, well, we, have, we all have bad dreams about fire, <laughs> says Puddle. <laughs> yes. Um, the dwarven priests of the Morden Salmon have historically been very sensitive to tremors in the earth and things that happen in the domain of mining and mm. under cavern. But this isn't their space. <laughs> True. They're, they're new here. Uh, and one of the dwarvish gods did help, just not one of the usual ones. <laughs> I see. Well, we're here to give you support um, mm. we tried tracking you down, but instead, when that didn't work, instead we spread your message, and mm. we're pretty sure farmers from here to Denevar have heard your, uh, have heard your tale. Yes, well, we might have left out all the doomsaying stuff, <laughs> simply you store your food and do a little bit of extra hunting and foraging before winter comes. Mm. <laughs> uh, we wanted to make contact with you to see if you had any other plans. Now that the last harvest has come in, uh, what are we going to do this winter? Well, we need to preserve. This is a natural cycle of Volcanica, so we need to make it through to the other side. That is going to be preserving of our food stores and maintaining peace amongst the, the peoples. Um, we also need to have somehow bring relief to the kobolds. Uh, I don't know if this is something you can help with, but I think that's something that we must do. He's looking to Barnabas. Who left? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, what? Uh, yeah. that, he, he, like, he, he turns in like, oh, <laughs> he he was walking away. He's like, oh. <laughs> 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 Mr. tried to play games with Winston, but Winston didn't understand what she was trying to do with the stick, so Mr. got bored. And <laughs> he's, now, you. he's now trying to corral Barnabas back over her. Uh, B- Barnabas throws the stick. <laughs> <laughs> M- Mr. has been acting a lot smarter lately, uh, Barnabas. You're pretty sure that Mr. no longer has a negative int modifier. <laughs> Uh, just fuck off, you fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> she understands. 
Magenta. <laughs> and then goes all the way around to go and <laughs> nuzzle in. She's now bugging the, the seedman. Uh, oh, stealing seeds or whatever. <laughs> yep. All right. Here's what I think you should do. All right, if you ask me. Continue with your blessings of the land. Build up the food supply. We will need it. However, um, let me ask your fellow druids. Do you think the people of the land have got the message? Uh, I, I do. Um, the local region, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, you're not going to go too far uh, now, are you? Because I will tell you this. That man that was just here, Inquisitor General Blackburn, hmm. he will take you and make you disappear if you keep this up. I promise you this. There, yeah, well, he, he will put you someplace where we cannot find you. Why and then you the can't do any good. The Inquisitor General has already looked at us through his gem. He seemed to be pleased at... No, I'm not talking about you. I'm sure you're all fine. If he says you passed his test, I'm sure you fucking did. I'm talking about Sunny. I, I don't care about him. Oh, you, you should. You, you will when he puts you in a little box you can't get out of. Well, then I'll put him in a little box back. No, I'll, you I'll will not. i put a hole in it so he can breathe. You <laughs> will not have fingers or a tongue with which to cast your magics. Put a mouse in every once in a while. No. Sadie, you cannot do this to certain people. Well, uh, we're going to talk about the mushrooms. Oh, yes. Uh, mushrooms. That's an excellent idea. Uh, cave mushrooms. Hmm? Uh, yes. Uh, well, the harvests have been good above ground. Uh, apparently, there was a bit of a problem as of late. Uh, this is the Grain Lord speaking. Hmm. Uh, I know as I am part of the um, Church of Sylvanus. Yes, Sylvanus is the protector of forests and farms. So <coughs> the, like, just reciting. Yeah. I would not eat too many of those birds. It may give you gastrointestinal intestinal issues. And he's like fighting with the bird. Is <laughs> he's, he's pulling out component seeds and almost like remaking the seeds. You're pretty sure you reground that. Um, he's got some sort of some sort of power here. Mister is giving him a little bit of a hard time. Uh, yes, um, uh, a couple months back, uh, don't know why, but uh, I don't want to start panic. And <laughs> he's looking at Sunny. <laughs> No, we wouldn't want to start a panic. <laughs> you shouldn't. Um, you, you you shouldn't broadcast this widely. Oh. It, but something went a little funky with um with some of the uh, dwarvish um, farms here in Overlook in the surrounding areas. You see, dwarves have learn how to create fungal gardens. Interesting. They might do better in the cold and the dark. Yeah, but uh, they had to burden their crop. Something about the fungus went bad. I probably understand why that might have been. Do we know anything about the other parties' current ongoing shenaniganry? Uh, the only sending between Chaga and Barnabas was, uh, it was it's Cog, between Cog, Cog and Dugan, Dugan also. Dugan. Cog and Dugan occasionally do talk, uh, but on they... Dugan's part, it's more like, hey, you still owe me you still money. You owe me two yeah, thousand, you owe me <laughs> 2,000 gold pieces, you cheap bastard. Yeah, every, every night, you remember? So, here was the last sending, hopefully it's short enough to be in. Yeah, all one thing. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, knowledge planes or knowledge religion on the Sathogua part? All right. <coughs> uh, 26. Oh. If I take if I take ten, I get a fifty-eight. 
Sog Thogua is um, a horrible being. It might live in the abyss, but it might be considered like one of the clip-offs or even maybe a like an elder chaotic being from beyond. Okay. Um, what was the total? 58. How many times Barnabas is going to go to hell? As many times as I can renegotiate that contract. I got something new to sell you! <laughs> it, it's, it's some insane formless god that might have something to do with um, yeah. fungus of ooze, yeah. maybe? Yeah, it, it, that, that's all that... Yeah, that's all this side has from that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. No, yeah. okay, uh, Apparently, there are issues with fungus in general in the Triforce areas and in the borderlands. And out of an abundance of caution, before we knew about, well, even before the um, mm. uh, the eruption, the eruption, um, it the was of a god. ordered to have the fungus burned when we started seeing signs of a, a weird sort of corruption. Um, we did send some, we did send some people, at least Overlook did. Uh, sorry, uh, was it Overlook? Uh, yeah, Overlook was concerned about their food problem beforehand. We, we, we did send someone from the, uh, on the behalf of the Church of Sylvanus, to go and speak to um, uh, a renowned um, um, mycologist. Hmm. That's a good idea. What if, if we could find healthy fungus to seed these farms, we could get them back up and running and stabilize the food supply even further for the coming year? Yes. Unfortunately, the delegation that we sent to go speak to the stone giants um, never returned. That's not good. Uh, we are aware that one of their members is still alive. Um, she's a well-known dwarvish bard from the city. Uh, I was going to go and speak to... A second, let me find his name. Don't have the map open. Gus the Stone Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Gus. Uh, Gus. <laughs> I was thinking about going with Greg, but that's too on the nose. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, I have to open up another map. It's it's when you create all the tokens, but you're not. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it Shakura? <laughs> nope. Uh, well, that would be a. Don't <laughs> find a map. <laughs> ah, we. Shogo the gardener is a um, druid of sorts. He might be very interested, um, uh, of at least interesting to speak to. Uh, where so, is the, Where is this Shogo the Gardener? We. Uh, he's at a place called uh, Howling Crag. He serves the um, uh, the chieftain there. He's of several tribes of uh, stone giants that live nearby. I understand. Uh, the name of the of the bard that we were able to um, ascertain is still alive and well. Um, 
Her name is uh, Danica Stonesong, a uh, frock of red hair and uh, a bit of a red beard. Uh, her return to Overlook would be uh, greatly appreciated. Um, it appears that she's the stone giant's prisoner. Hmm. We're not sure as to what has transpired in the Holland Crag region. Uh, uh, is this near where the mountain pass is that is moving? Do you know of this problem? <laughs> uh, in a second, there was one one other name they would have. Uh, they would know. Uh, she was accompanied by um, Dostar Dostar Ironfell, a mining expert, who may have been there for may have visited the stone giants for a, a different reason. Is Dostar Ironfell a dwarf? Um, yes. Hmm. Uh, he, you'll recognize him by the purple gem he wears in his forehead. It's one of those dwarves. <laughs> uh, and there are... Barnabas, do you hide the gem that you have in your forehead? or? Yeah, he hides it. Okay, all right. Does the party know about that, or is it just a thing that's... I, I think the party's seen it. For, for a time, Barnabas did Couldn't wear it. Yeah. yeah. Barnabas is going purple gem in your forehead. Barnabas, he's going to look at Barnabas in a too knowing way in front of company. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Chancellor of Anis would very much like to um, uh, at least speak to Shogo about his uh, about his secrets, uh, or, or to see if he's having similar problems with his uh, with his fungal uh, uh, gardens. Which was the real purpose of the visit, at least from. Uh, overlook in the Church of Sylvanus is so, uh, a predicament. Yes, and if we could get some fast-growing spores or anything to help us regrow the uh, some of the fungal farms that have been put to the torch here in Overlook, that would well be quite beneficial and help feed us in, in times to come. Of course, of course we'll do this. Now, <laughs> the stone giants of the Howling Crag, um, they, they aren't our enemies. Barnabas, do you have knowledge? Uh, yes. Knowledge anything? <laughs> so give me history or knowledge local uh, Elsir. <clears throat> okay, uh, I think... I think that uh, either either one is going to uh, take 10. Uh, it's 58. 43. Also, damn it, that was a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> 43 and 58? Okay. Um, so, the Howling Crag is actually in the Delvin Pass. It's it's like off to the side of the Delvin Pass. Um, which so is that pass we're trying to open. Yeah. Which is the pass you're trying to open. Open meaning make it safe for normal people and caravans could go back and yeah. forth. Yeah, <laughs> 15th level characters at a party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during the Red Hand of Doom, the uh, the stone giant clans of the Howling Crag uh, were mercenaries for the Elsir Vale, so they actually faced other giants on that battlefield. They earned the rightful claim over their ancestral territory in the eyes of the Overlook through this service. However, you're pretty sure that the clan didn't like being gifted something they thought they already owned. Uh, and they've been kind of standoffish since that time. Um, in the conflict recently with uh, Overlook, another knowledge local, Uh, 58. 40. Just to feel good about myself. That's still a good roll. <laughs> it's an amazing roll. You think that 
the rune giant general that you guys killed, I think his name was Idwar, um, nope. he actually visited the Howling Crag and forced a bunch of their warriors to serve. Oh, that of the, like he had a bunch of giants with him. Yeah. Oh, we might have killed some. <laughs> so, uh, you're not too sure what the current state of that alliance is. Given that this stone giant clan lives very close to Overlook, it's probably... It was a place you just generally... Uh, people generally avoided, and now you realize that, no, this is actually the pass to actually get to the uh, to the mines of Karak, and you may have to uh, either pass by, relocate... What, what, are, what are Capra's things? <laughs> relocate, uh, exterminate... It's or, domest domesticate, relocate, domesticate, exterminate. Right. Uh, um, they're telling you that this Shogo... Uh, is a member of the of the the stone giants of the Howling Crag. The Howling Crag is just a giant stone edifice, kind of in the valley, high up in the mountains. You're not too sure what the what the temperature would be there, given the death of the rune giant general. <coughs> probably pressed a bunch of people into service uh, would be, but you haven't uh, overlook hasn't been attacked since that um uh since the firing of the bombard that Thogrim helped put together and uh since since the flooding of the nexus where brenos murdered via flooding tens of thousands of goblinoids well, and i needed to adjust my alignment points somehow <laughs> right. so well, yeah, yeah like but you have you have received you have seen reports that the Imperium is at war. That gobl it's not just goblins in the north. Uh, you and you know that Chaga and the others have gone to uh, to fight that war in the south, and that something bigger might be going on. It's not just a local conflict. It seems to be on quote unquote all fronts, especially with the shelling of places that were thought to be ultimately safe, like Foundry. Yeah. Um, yeah. The war has begun to... Uh, people are on edge. Uh, is, that, is that something you could help out with, says the Grain Lord? The Church of Sylvanus would be very uh, appreciative, in addition to being appreciative to what you've done. We would ask, however, that uh, for next year you coordinate your plans with us. <laughs> uh, if I remember, yes. You won't. You won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf giggles. <laughs> the seedman's finally fed something to Mister that made Mister go into the steps and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, uh, yes, of, of of course we should do this. It's it's the best thing for Volcanica. Um, we'll need to find some way to. Uh, we don't know enough about kobolds. I don't know enough about kobolds. What do kobolds even eat? They eat whatever we fucking eat. It, it, the the I... fucking dogs at the side of the leak, whatever. But their entire kingdom was flattened by a volcano. Like, not like ours, where it's just, oh, we're going to get dust. They got flattened. Yeah. Well, I'll leave that to you. Barnabas knows he does not want to help. He doesn't care about kobolds, does not want to help kobolds. <laughs> P Puddle says kobolds excellent at making... Um, sandwiches. Ma making traps. No, uh, traps. traps for even the smallest of rodents. Hmm. Mice. They are able to persevere. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are. Pe well, that only makes sense, doesn't it? Cobbles, omnivorous. Uh, they, they are the they are the types who are used to this sort of cycle. And then, other great tribe is of. Goblins, and they have hearty constitutions and can eat almost anything organic. Yeah, including each other. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, they can eat each other. 
not very, no, not advisable, but, but yes, organic material includes goblin. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Bully? It's a, he's a Bullywug, right? Uh, it is a Bullywug, yep. What about you, Piddle? You ever eaten uh, a goblin? I have never eaten goblin, no. No, eating people is not something that you need to do. Sense motive. <laughs> Bullywug. <laughs> This is more Mark's bias from every bully wug he's ever encountered in a game. <laughs> yep. Uh, the kind with like a, a hand just sticking out of the yeah. mouth. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> 59. No, uh, Puddle's very quick to correct you that bully wugs don't need to. Uh, you're pretty sure that Puddle is a very kind soul when it comes to bully wugs. Um, you are noticing that Puddle is not saying that she's never eaten sentience, and this might be a point of great remorse. All right. As it's, long as... It's Puddle, by the way, not Piddle. <laughs> My mistake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sunny is going to, um... Describe them each a scroll of mage's decree, just in case. They no, need to, no, no, no. In case they need to spread the word, they don't Whatever need the to word spread the word. <laughs> they don't need to spread the word. Sunny, listen uh, to me. They will lock you up and put you in a little box, and they will take you away from Volcanica. Okay. I've I've seen your stick. It is not of. The right kind of oak. And he puts three, like, oak, I guess, acorns? Three oak acorns and grow these trees and then make your oak stick from them. Okay. Uh, I think it, will, it should still work. It's oak. Uh, but, yeah, if you want a stronger tree, uh, do, do as the seedman says. Course. Um, should I? Should they be placed close together or far apart? Is there a? They are oaks. Jeez. Jeez. That should be enough information. <laughs> Sonny's like, yeah, they shouldn't probably be right on top of each other. <laughs> you can so don't put them in the same hole. You know. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Uh, 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 Seedman, normally we give rewards after the task is done, but he made the wrong stick. <laughs> Apparently, this the Seedman's on the same wavelength as. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I, my first stick got broken by a horrible android monster from beyond the plains, a Cabernex node. It was a very sad time. Okay, they, they all look very sympathetic. Uh, they, oh, they, they might it also be slaughtered a friend of mine's entire clan. <laughs> if, they knew what a cavern, my stick. if they knew what an android or a cavernex node was. <laughs> yeah, they, they're all just very sympathetic and listen to the story. It, it's, a, it's a hippie circle. Yeah, yeah. We're... <laughs> Uh, okay. That must have uh, been awful, you know, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Uh, okay, S -S -S uh, Sunny is still going to bequeath the, the Church of Sylvanus uh, two scrolls of Mage's Decree for them to use as okay. they deem fit to help guide the people of Volcanica. Yeah, you, you, Barnabas, you realize that there's at least three, maybe four Druidic fashions, uh, factions, five if, uh, if you count Sunny. So there's the druids that you know that are from the town of Witchcross. Yeah. There's some water druid that they're friends with, and then they're the converted druids in the Church of Sylvanus, which is how the Imperium controls druidry, basically. Three the of them. The one each. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah. one, two, three, and then Sonny, who has proclaimed that he is 
the druid of Volcanica. The the druid. Test me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What, what you're gathering is that there's not a lot of... The Imperium is trying hard to bring order to a thing that it, it's, sometimes it's hard to bring order to. Okay. Well, Sonny, at least through his deeds, has just summoned them to him. Now, he's a 14th level druid, so there's a amount of like res power equals respect, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. All right, they have their plan. Uh, they gave Sunny. They gave something. They gave Sunny something to do to further help uh, feed the people of Overlook and perhaps of Elsir Vale. Uh, weird that something went wrong with the funguses. Um, not sure what that was all about. Hey, Adam. Hmm. I have no idea what possibly yeah. could have just a, a glabrazoo in your lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you burn your fields? Because we don't want that happening here. <laughs> We got lots of grain. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Okay. Uh, yeah, the druids. Uh, they say. Do druids have sending as a spell? Uh, druids. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, uh, no, no. They have <clears throat> scrying out stars. They can have... Clerics do, though. Yeah. Uh, they have, like, the animal, animal messengers. Messenger. Well, now that they know where you are, they will, uh, they'll come and visit you here again, and, uh, yeah. uh they basically say don't be a stranger. Uh, well, and, th and this, these mages decree scrolls that I'm giving them, uh, that's not a druid spell. <laughs> so, so, they need to find a, a priest to yep. cast it. Um... <laughs> Puddle, so. Leaf, and Adrana say that they're going to uh, return to Witchcross, okay. whereas uh, Seedman and uh, the Grain Lord are going to join effectively the Elven, uh, the Elven uh, Conclave that is here in Overlook, yep. um, and serve the continue to serve the Church of Sylvanus here in Overlook. Uh, they, they were from Fortress Top, like they lived among yep. the doppelgangers and. Have gone Thank through you. the checkpoints and have been part how of the... did... how... Wait a sec. I have nobody to be sarcastic to, to beat them. Because didn't they have some weird currency system up there where, like, did how did he get this fat with that system of governance? Holy smokes. Anyways, <laughs> I don't have anybody to make those comments in game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> He was in charge of the granary. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he just had access. <laughs> just, I, I took to... care of the surplus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you, you you do suspect that um, that this seedman has some strange powers when it comes to uh, when it comes to plants. I'm, I'm going to put them on the Overlook map if I can find it. And then uh, stick them. City of Overlook. Mm. Stick them in the uh, the Elf Town district. Should I tell Brenos that he might have someone looking for him? Yeah, that would be wise. Also, tell him not to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yes, no, answers. <laughs> Sonny will let Brenos know that uh, through the telepathic bond with allies that uh, there, there might be there might be some fob from the Imperium that's looking for him. Some guy who likes to be a snake. Uh, <laughs> and and this is in addition to. A bearded, uh, a braid bearded dwarf that might be a. This is in addition to the braid bearded dwarf who's coming to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, just keep finding your friends. What can we say? <laughs> that's coming to kill you. Okay. Well, so the well, the braid bearded dwarf. He, is, he, he wants the sword he back. He wants the sword back. Right? Yeah. That, was, that message was about the he's coming to take your sword. Uh, and then the, uh, <laughs> the the Inquisitor guy is oh there might be there might be a a, a, a yob from the Imperium 
who's <laughs> looking for you, I might have told him about your uncle. <laughs> All right, so we've got um, Elf Town is up in this corner uh, as the city rises up like a giant ziggurat. Um, Tower of the Exiled Prince. We've got the Half Axe Inn in the Oakart Library, where you guys have spent a lot of time, in particular as of late, in the Half Axe Inn. You've spent an entire season here selling off your hoard. Brenos, now that you received your money and you have a form that can be converted via mythic energy into upgrades to your legendary item called the Platinum Sword, mm -hmm. where does Brenos, being a holy man of not one pantheon but two pantheons, where is he going to go to perform this sort of prayer to the Platinum Blade? Or are you even still doing this, given that the entity in the Platinum Blade is kind of angry at you at the current at this current time. No, no, no we're gonna. We're, Maybe I'm, buy, I'm yeah. hoping shinies make it happier. You're, you're gonna buy it presents and hope it's not mad at you anymore. Uh, so, um, there are no dragon temples <clears throat> in town, correct? Uh, give me a knowledge local or a knowledge religion, and then I'm gonna take a look at a write up for a second. Uh, oh, where is it? World building. City of Overlook. What the fuck is Overlook? There we go. Uh, not to identify. Cre oh, I forgot how. Oh, Brenos, you're in ten, are you? Well, yeah. This is this is in ten decision making. <laughs> uh, the bird is now smarter than you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, Twenty-seven. So you are from the district of Nine Bells, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, the nine, nine temples that are in Nine Bells include one that is abandoned of some sun god from long ago, a small temple of the Morden Salmon, a shrine of the Thousand One Fey Gods, a shrine of the Seldarine, a shrine to the Five Face God, which is the predominant human human temple yep. here, uh, uh, a small church of Vismodius, a a converted uh, church of the pattern and the weave, a converted church of the red god of war, and an empty church that you believe may have once been consecrated in Bahamut's name. Uh, let's go do it there. And we'll see if that's correct, because I think Bahamut smells like the right one. It's like Bahamut or Iomide or something like that is the... This platinum sword tends to <laughs> give me the okay. The sense. Uh, you know that the place is uh, like shut down, or at least is empty. Uh, okay. And you go to the divine knot. So let's put Brenos. I've got his token. We'll zip him over to that neighborhood. Look at there's an armadillo up there. Oh, look at Marissa. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, All right, the Temple of the Shining Scale. <clears throat> All right, you're walking down this road, Brenos. And there's a guy sitting up on uh, the top of a building. Looks like he was just eating a fruit. <laughs> leg, leg, yeah, legs dangling. Um, nice sword you got there. Nice beard you got there. Where are you? Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> fight? Who fight? Who is you think I is fight man? I is not fight man. I is peaceful boy. <laughs> Brenos on this day because he's going to try to pray to this the what he believes to be a lawful good sword. It's going to be worshiping Bahamut, and he will be using the like. Uh, give me a second here. Um, it's he's worshiping Bahamut with the luck 
and glory domains. Okay. Uh, when you reached out to Bahama, you just feel that he's very distant compared to some of the other gods that you attuned to. I don't know if you've ever done Bahama before. Uh, I'm pretty certain I used... Oh, give me a second. I, I think I've done Bahama... Give me a second. Um, I think... That was my, like... My war god when I... Okay. Went, well, it was my fighty god that I was using during the end of the last adventure. Yeah, okay. This is more of a... You've called out to him before, you do make a divine connection. You now notice that you've, since then, you've called out to other dragon deities that are much more um, present or in focus. Okay. Whereas Bahamut, relative to the other deities, is yeah. somewhat distant and not very. Um, it's almost like he's asleep, is the way that you describe it. Like you're contacting a sleeping deity. That's hmm. what happens when you kill all the worshippers. <laughs> right. Okay, so, so there's this guy who's just sit, sitting up on a building, just happens to be here. He sort of fits the description of the guy that uh, that the uh, that your companions met in Brindle. How much? How much time has passed between those two events? Uh. Few weeks. Let's see. Barnabas's uh, shop for scrolls happened on the autumn the seventh, and this is winter the first. So that would be uh, one hundred and like sixty-five days ago. Okay, so it's like a long time ago. It's been a few months. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh... Give me, give me a sense motive. He's going to murder you with his braids. <laughs> <laughs> his murder braids. <laughs> I, I, also need a, I also need a perception check from Bruno's. All right. Uh, 35 on the perception check. And 47 on the sense motive. All right. He, he's 43 on the bluff. He's acting like... It don't matter. Like, he's just chilling here, just hanging out. He's been waiting. Mm. But, like, maybe gotten impatient a little bit. You saw him raise an eyebrow like he recognized you. Like, like the reason yeah. why he's just chilling out here. That's some patience, though. Um, and why here? And then your perception check was what? 35. Uh, you notice that he is carrying a number of magic items, um, in particular one. Uh, he's got a circlet that looks like it's got dancing dragons on it, like they're kind of roaring out. But in the gem that the two dragons have their mouths uh, that, that are kind of holding the, the gemstone, uh, the gemstone is actually the symbol of Io the chief creator of dragon kind. So you got a thing for dragons. Huh. You can say that. I'm a worm singer. Don't do too much singing myself. You should try it. It's therapeutic. It helps uh, one calm down. It also helps one get on calm. I prefer to make others sing. So you're Brenos. Aye. And you're the I... man who was in Brindle. Aye? Uh, I go to a lot of places, but I was in Brindle. I did meet your friends there. I figured I'd give you some I give you folks some space. Your um the man in the hat seemed really paranoid about doppelgangers. Well, you know, just as a point, a point of conversation. <clears throat> to make one not be paranoid about doppelgangers, you don't really bring up doppelgangers as a way to start a fucking conversation. 
Are you so are you a doppelganger? No, are you? Nay. Okay, settled. <laughs> exactly what a doppelganger would say. <laughs> yeah. When he wanted to start cutting people, that's where, you know, I drew the line. I didn't want to have to cut well, your friends. Well. <laughs> If you're around long enough, we all bleed. True. Very true. <laughs> so, am I going to climb up there, or are you going to slink your way down here? Uh, kind of curious what you're doing in the uh, neighborhood. Well, what do Temple. you do... Temple of Morden's over there. <laughs> like, you passed the Temple of Morden. <laughs> yeah, I... And that's a temple to Bahamut, I think. It was. Hasn't been consecrated by a priest in, oh, ages. Oh. The last priest's name was... He is not pausing, but Marty is looking up a name. Uh, was it the guy who had the sword in the beginning? It was Aelis. He died in the uh, fighting the Red Hand of Doom. Well. Didn't have a successor. Not many people in these parts worship dragon gods. Which makes you very curious indeed. He's now looking at the sword again. I worship many gods. Where'd you get that sword of yours? Wouldn't happen to be the blade that was stored in a particular building in Brindle? Didn't get it from no building in Brindle. No, of course you didn't get it from the Hall of Great Valor. Nay. Silly name. Picked it off of a dead goblin. Ah. After the hall was robbed by goblins and hobgoblins. Uh, I, w I always heard that the hall had a long sword in it. It's a great sword. Don't worry about me. I don't fight with swords, he says. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brenos is going to cast a mythic and large person. To speak to him eye to eye him. from he's street level. Him, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's like, oh, he does scramble. Like he's no longer sitting on the edge. He's standing on top of the building. Uh, hello there. You're quite large. <laughs> Rip. <Then. laughs> Brenos. <laughs> yeah, I'd wave so he i put him down, and then I'll shrink back down. But just to okay. <laughs> we'll have a face-to-face -face conversation about a yelling at each other. That's a really interesting trick there. Yeah, he, he actually scrambles back down. And... Nope. Sorry, it wasn't a mythic. It was a mythic and righteous might. Righteous so... might, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, with your sense motive, you did notice that Riff was trying to figure out how you did that. That's a nifty trick. Normally that spell doesn't get you quite that large. A, gift, a gift from the sword. Gift from the gods. <laughs> You're a godly man. That's a good thing. Can I tell you a secret? Well, if you told me it wouldn't be a secret anymore, but sure. The, I can keep secrets. The Dwarvish gods owe a debt. Sometimes debts get called in. And they have to use their agents to perform charges. Sometimes the charges is to bear a sword and to slit a throat. Does that make sense at all to you? You're saying you're indebted? 
to whom on behalf of the Dwarvish gods? All of them? Wow, that's some debt. They apparently let Tyr march off to his doom. Tyr? Hmm. Hmm. They weren't ready to fight when they needed to. How do you know all that? Insightful and very wise. <laughs> In ten <laughs> skull of not too many people there. know about Tia in this world. Never really had an influence. It, the Asmodians have had more influence here. In fact, we're sort of encroaching on their territory. Yeah, well. Yeah, then again, you encroach hard enough, it becomes your own territory. <laughs> they're encroaching on the territory of others. You know how it goes. Back and forth, territories, exchange hands. People suffer, warriors die. Sounds about eight. Except for the part where you say warriors die. Not just warriors die. That sword is going to lead you to some very fantastic battles. If they haven't come for you already. Yeah, it would be a little bit more effective if it would just understand that pantheons have all sorts of people in them. <laughs> Not everybody is a valorous, righteous... There are bastards out there, and bastards make the world go round. <laughs> I mean, you remember that of Io, right? I, I do. Uh, by his great scaly beard, singing to him is um. Seems, seems to be good. Created dragons, after all. He's the great balancer. No. He has other names. Io seems to be one most fit for dwarven and human tongues. It's weird being a dragon of peace, though. Not too much peace amongst dragons. Oh, no. He must have known what he was doing, given that dragons are all of all shades, colors, metals, and of all uh, personalities. Oh. So, are you going to help me consecrate this... Uh... <laughs> This temple or not yet? You're going to consecrate it in the name of Bahamut. Well, that's what we're going to try to do. You're, you serve all the dragons. You realize that would probably anger half the pantheon by doing so. Well, that's that's the lesson we're trying to teach today. <laughs> He's wiggling the, like, the pommel of the sword. <laughs> Some things piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know how I can help. I'm not a divine caster, is what he says, but uh, I'll watch. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the... Uh, that won't do it. Unless you'd like me to sing a song of praise for Bahamut as we enter his um, very dusty and musty and open... Oh, yes. Um, hey, there's trash. Um, <laughs> so the shrine itself is uh, uh, four walls. Um, it has a big enough opening for probably dragon dragons to fit through. The doors, the doors have fallen off their hinges and have been carted away uh, long ago. Uh, and there's a uh, vine and moss kind of growing over some of the stonework. And it does look like people may shelter here temporarily um, from from rainstorms. 
There is a very simple but very large stone table that you realize is an altar. And uh, the symbol of the place, while it looks like people have tried to scratch it out of the stone, there isn't, there isn't a single scratch on the shield-sized um, platinum scale that is embedded in the far bedrock um, um, that is jutting out from the city. Like, this may have been here before the city had actually grown here. Okay. Uh, there might be some side chambers, but they're, they're, it's very airy. You you scatter some pigeons as you uh, as you walk into the Temple of Scales. How many uh, budgies have you collected? Uh, I currently have, I believe, three budgies. Can you see? Uh, my budgie list. I have a list of budgies. Uh, where are you, my budgies? Uh, I have three of Bahamut's canaries. Okay. Baphomet? Uh, Bahamut. Okay. With, with a ha. <laughs> Not a fa. <laughs> I thought you said Baphomet. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's a big difference between that budgie and that carry. <laughs> uh, Rift does walk in with you. He okay. spreads his hands wide and he does begin to, to sing uh, his... His voice is a, a much more baritone voice than than you'd expect from his speaking uh, voice. Mm -hmm. And let's just give a perform check. He can bard song his own perform, I think, with confidence. Sure, why not? Uh, he rolls a net one thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't shouldn't eat oranges right before I sing. Uh, 33 is still not bad, but he he, he does sing a few uh, a few uh, hymns in Draconic uh, that is about uh, Baphomet Bahamut. Sorry, now that I now I'm uh, Bahamut um, uh, lancing through the clouds to dive at his eternal enemy. Okay, uh, and, how, and how one as courageous as he must. Must have a place to um, to rest. Uh, okay, uh, Brenos doesn't actually have a uh, uh, a consecrate prepared, or mm -hmm. as a as a, uh, uh, he's going to pray to the scale with the sword and see if he can get the sword to be less mad at him. <laughs> And then he's going to put a, if that doesn't work, we're putting a whack ton of cash out and praying to see if that'll make the sword less mad at him. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, we're going to buy a scroll, consecrate the place, and then do it again. <laughs> All right. So um, you can go and you could have bought, I'll just let you have bought a, a, a scroll of consecrate on your way here because you knew yeah. you were going to a, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a temple. I, I, I thought the good domain had consecrate. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's fine. <laughs> Just take off the, the, what is it, 300 gold for a second level scroll or something like that? Yeah. Um, yeah, you cast the spell. You are divinely attuned to Bahamut. The scale is a perfect, um, uh, a perfect focus for it. And basically, you notice that uh, it almost like cleans the room. It still has this sense of great age to it, but there is definitely a glow and sheen that is coming off of the scale. Again, you feel that Bahamut is still very distant. Like this is some, this is like shining a torch off of the great scale of Bahamut and getting a reflection as opposed to some deep divine connection. The sword, you notice its annoyance uh, is placated for now with the casting of the Consecrate spell. There we go. <laughs> this place could use some doors, maybe some windows, but uh, all the bird shit's gone. Neat. I know a few other buildings that can use that spell. You know, if you ever wanted to become a janitor... I'm a general. I'm a gen <laughs> Rift, general, Rift please. Is just grinning at you, <laughs> leaning up against the wall. He's, he's 
he's starting to peel another orange, but then is putting the peels in his pocket instead of attacking him on the ground. Okay, uh, Brenos is going to sort of give him kind of a side eyed look and then start like pulling out stupidly large bags of gemstones. <laughs> This should be good. <laughs> to, to get the funny ideas. <laughs> you realize if you leave it in here, probably some of those some of those street youth that we pass. Um, a lot of people down on the luck these days. Aye. He just watches. He okay. he he notices the the amount of wealth, but doesn't. He just wants to see what you're doing. Okay, well, he's... Uh... He does expect something to happen. <laughs> it's going to knock you out and take your shit. <laughs> no, he's made no hostile action. Unless he's going to wait till he turns his back. You can't trust a man with braid like that. Yep. No hostile <laughs> actions unless you were an orange. Unless you were an orange. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, no, he ends up putting about, about 40,000 gold pieces of gems. And... <laughs> when you finally stop, he goes, you sure that's it? <laughs> well, he, uh, he pulls out like a platinum coin and like <laughs> okay uh... <laughs> the, uh, the rumors were right you guys did find a horde of sorts I Brados is going to put the sword down, blade first, in front of the the uh, this uh, scale of, of Bahamut, and pray for the strength to defeat the foes of the of both dragon and dwarven kind. Okay, the horde begins to glitter with a platinum sheen. And I assume this is the amount that you need to upgrade your blade. What are the upgrades that you're uh, pouring into your, your uh, legendary item? So it, it used to could plus three sword. Yep. It now could plus five furious benevolence sword. <laughs> <laughs> so while raging plus seven sword with benevolence. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you, you hear a riff, actually, he drops the, you hear the orange drop, and he gets down to one knee, and he's bowing his head. As the magic is washing over your treasure hoard and sort of absorbing into the sword. Uh, he is muttering prayers at this point. Brentless is a holy man, he's doing a holy act, he, there's another holy man... This seems normal. Like, okay. like he, uh, he's not he, he's yeah. not making any assumptions based on this. This is a normal thing. You you've inspired Riff to get to his knees and pray uh, at what he's seeing. Mm -hmm. um, when Brenos, you're done. The sword seems to be uh, seems to have gained strength. You could feel pride coming from it. Uh, a sense of righteous anger. Not towards you, but like it's ready. <laughs> There's a different look on Rick's uh, a Riff's face as as he as he rises um, when you when you turn around. That blade, you know what that blade is, right? I believe it holds the soul of a dragon. It was there when Tear was turned down. When asking for help before going below, it was at a table. I knew the blade was special. I've seen it in battle a few times. I've never quite felt what I feel now. That there could be that might have once belonged to Bahamut himself. Could have been a gift to some of his greatest followers. I think could, Bahamut's sleeping. What could be the sword that he uses when he takes humanoid form? Uh, chromatic, uh, metallic dragons can do that. Some chromatics have learned how. There are risks. 
Bretos is thinking to himself, there's a chance you might go fucking batty woo <laughs> uh, <laughs> What I don't quite get, though, <laughs> is why Bahama, no offense, Bretos, would let you wield the sword. You don't strike me as, how do I say this very diplomatically, the paladin type. I'm not a paladin type. Oh. 